If I had to choose my top five seafoods, here they are. Crabs, oysters, clams, lobster, octopus. Mussels are fine. I do like mussels, but I like more of my men. Welcome back to the cooking show. We're here in the Munchie Test Kitchen and today we are making fried clam. And also homemade tartar sauce, cocktail sauce, and coleslaw to go along with it. So basically we're making fried clams with all the fixins. These are cherry stone clams. These are really tasty, delicious. And then we've got our little neck clams. These are a lot bigger, you can tell. I like them both, they're all delicious. So fried clams are obviously huge up in New England, specifically Rhode Island. My mom's from Massachusetts, right there next to Rhode Island. We always like getting the whole belly clam strips. So it's like a belly and the foot like this, all attached. I love the way the belly, it's like soft. It kind of reminds me of an oyster a little bit. You know, it's like soft like that. Clam strips are good too, bellies are better. Tatia sauce first, shall we? So what that is, is some mayonnaise. Use your Duke's mayonnaise, your Hellman's mayonnaise, whatever kind of best mayonnaise you like. If you wanna use homemade mayonnaise, do that. That works too. I like capers in my tartar sauce. I'm gonna take some capers. Look at these cute little boys right here. Tartar sauce I feel like is, ooh. You should've told me to Google this ahead of time. Wait, you don't have, Wait, don't get any, don't take me Googling this. I'm gonna Google. What tartar, like tartar sauce I feel like is, let's find out what the tartar sauce, what that's all about. I think I'm gonna say something that has pickles in it. It always has capers. Always has capers? Are you looking that up? Always has capers, always has capers. and pickles. You can add pickles or lemon. I don't know. Thank God for the ladies of the kitchen. Capers are awesome. Capers. What are capers actually? They're uh No, don't I'm gonna look it up. Don't let Vic Virginia look it up. Really I'm gonna beat her to it. Hold on. Say on me. Peter, come back here. It's a bush. Also called Flinders Rose. I knew that. Yeah. Mm. All right, smarty pants. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so we're gonna add some pickle to this. God, I love pickles so much too. Not that much pickle. I think I say in the recipe like two tablespoons, but what are you looking at, Peter? Looking all over the place. What? <laughs> Peter's just like wandering off. There goes Peter. Just like that into there. My version of tartar sauce is mainly a lot of things, and then it's just like the mayonnaise to bind it. Like, look at it. Like, there's not like, it's not like super mayonnaise-y or whatever. One of my friends actually hates mayonnaise. She thinks, like, she doesn't really like condiments at all. Sarah, good old Sarah. Remember her? The girl who called me sweat pits. My friend Sarah. My, still my best friend, but Sarah out there called me sweat pits. It's hot. Whatever. She's still my friend. I don't mind. All right, we're gonna mince up a little bit of shallot. If you, if you find that you have a really sharp onion or shallot or whatever, soak it in ice water for like 10 minutes and it'll take away a lot of that like bite. I have a compost bowl that's I'm throwing things in, okay? That's what's happening over there, composting. I'm not just throwing things around. Also, a little bit of parsley into this bad boy. Okay, that's gonna go in the little bowl right there. And then we're gonna do a little zest of lemon in there. A little squirt. Lovely. I'm better at getting things into the compost bin than I am with the trash can. Let it be noted. <laughs> you like that move, huh, Peter? And look at this. You have a homemade tartar sauce. That easy. It takes like five minutes. And when you're not fucking around talking shit like me, you probably take less. Okay, set that aside. Dance break. Dance break. Dance break. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, here we go. We're gonna make cocktail sauce. So this is just Heinz ketchup. We're gonna add some prepared horseradish. So it's just Worcestershire sauce, horseradish, and ketchup. And then I also do a little bit of lemon juice in here. And then the secret ingredient, a little bit of hot sauce. This will be pretty good. Mmm, that's like perfect, just like that. Fuck, that is really good. One of my really good friends is from Rhode Island. There's clams everywhere. They do clam cakes. It's not a clam cake, actually. They're like fried dough with clams in it, and it's so good. Clam chowder I love. Like I said, my mom's from Massachusetts. Always, every summer, she goes and she has to get her fried clams, and we'd go and we'd visit my grandpa's grave, and I remember one year she left, we got the fried clams and went and visited his grave, and she left a fried clam on the gravestone, and my grandmother goes there all the time. The clam was gone, but it left a grease mark, and my grandmother was 
furious at my mother and she knew, she was like, Teresa, I know that's you. Like, I know that you left a clam there, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, we never heard the end of it. We're gonna also make coleslaw. We're gonna take green cabbage, like a quarter head. You could, I mean, you could do, oh, I missed it that time. We'll pick it up. I'm gonna take a mandolin, so be careful. Watch out for your fingers. Put that there. Also, I'm gonna put in here, literally just straight up some white vinegar. I love it. Just like that. Celery seed, okay. A couple tablespoons of the old olive oil. I'm gonna take the rest of my parsley. Green cabbage, parsley, vinegar, celery seed, salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil, and you're good to go. How easy is that? I'm getting in here with my hands because it's almost like kale. You gotta massage all this stuff together. Next up, we are going to batter our clams. We're gonna fry them. We're gonna do this at 375. We're gonna put a cup of buttermilk in here. I'm gonna put these all right directly into my buttermilk. Just gonna toss them in there. And they can sit there for a minute. So it's like basically equal parts cornmeal and flour. I'm gonna do some salt in there as well, some pepper. And everyone's favorite, if you're from Maryland, Old Bay. I like Old Bay on like most things. Old Bay popcorn, potato chips, crab, fries. Old Bay's good. So nice neutral oil, always to fry in. So canola or vegetable oil just has a higher smoke point. I'm gonna put these right on in there. This is gonna be a messy process. I'm gonna try to keep one hand for wet, one hand for dry. And just toss it. I want it to be like lumpy and like weird and not like perfect, you know? Use your gut to like push it in together. <laughs> Now your gut is a kitchen tool. It's cost you a lot in terms of relationships and money on food and self-esteem, but you're now your best friend, your only friend in the kitchen, <laughs> your gut. We want to fry it fast, hard and fast in this one, okay? Hard and fast, just the way everyone likes it, right ladies? No, but in this case, yes. The breading will get nice and brown and then the inside, it won't get super tough or anything. Hard and fast, just this time. They're nice, they're gonna, this is gonna fry really well. Okay. Put it right in. Look at them, oh yeah, that looks good. See they're like, like weird looking, you know? I want them like that. Does not take long. Just get it to that nice color. All right, those are pretty much done. <laughs> Looks like a belly or something. Exploding. A little salt in there. What smells so good? It's the old bay, I can smell it. <laughs> clean on, clean off. Clean on, clean off. So we're making this really feel like we're at the beach right now, okay? Where are my sunglasses? Oh, I forgot them today. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey. Ready? I'm gonna put these in here, a little basket. Now, this is not required for home, obviously. We are a test kitchen. We prop style things all the time. I'm literally doing this like a little asshole because I think it's fun to make it feel like you're really setting the scene here. These are good. You need just like this. The fresh lemon juice on it is so good. It's Old Bay in there. It's crunchy. Reminds me of summer. This is great. It's so good. I couldn't be happier. No, I could be. I could be happier. <laughs> Just if I was at the beach, that would make me happier, but whatever, these are great. I transport you there. For this recipe, for fried clams and all your fucking fixins', click the link in the description below. Ta-da! Thanks for playing along.